Use of custom images in Tableau as an infographic is quite a powerful feature. In this tutorial, I'll be sharing with you how to create an infographic and to use it to show percentage in Tableau. So without any further delays, let's get started. Welcome back, this is Gurpreet from DataWiz Canvas and in today's tutorial, we are gonna learn how to use infographics to show percentage in Tableau. So for this, we'll be creating our own custom images. As you know, it's quite powerful to use and edit your own images and use it as a background for creating such an insightful visualizations. So how we can create these custom images? So you can use multiple tools like Illustrator, Photoshop, or Figma. And in this tutorial, I'll be using a, I'll be using Photoshop. So I have already created these shapes with the transparent background in Photoshop. And I will show you these images. So these are all the images which I have already created. So let me show you how I created this in Photoshop. So first of all, we will create a blank canvas, open that one, and then simply I will create a circle. So you can go to this shape and you can change any shape. So in this, I will use a circle where I will just click on it and open it. And while you are doing that, press shift key. So then it will create a complete circle rather than an elliptical shape like this. So if you press shift, it will create a circle. And then you can go here and choose the color whichever you want. So let's say in this case, I want red. As simple as that, that's done. Now I will simply choose black color here and go to the paint bucket and I will select my sheet and this background layer, layer zero, and I will do black at the background. And then I will merge these two sheets. Just select both of them by pressing shift key right click and merge layers and then it will be in one layer right so then i will go to this magic van tool click on that and i will go to this layer and click on this red circle and then simply delete this and now we have our circle area transparent and everything else is black so i will just do a bit of cropping uh, of the entire canvas because I don't want everything in here. I just want the circle. So I will just bring, crop all the entire layer and just to focus on the circle. So once that is done, here you can see a nice circle. You can do a bit more editing and more 3D effect by just going to this layer and go to blending options and do a lot more in this. So in this case, I want, I will just do the drop shadow and you will see a drop shadow came here a little bit. So just click OK. And then you can save this by simply going here to the file menu and click save as and you can save it to your computer. So that's one way of creating it. I will show you another way of creating it. So here I have downloaded this image from internet. And let's say I want to just create the background for female or male infographic, right? So you can create this entirely by yourself in Illustrator as well, but I will show you this easy trip where you can use that existing image and you just select the rectangular tool and you just select that image and just copy it by Control C in Windows and Command C in Mac and create a new window and I will just create it and actually i will create a new bigger window here sorry that was really small and i will paste it here oops it didn't paste it correctly let's go back to this image and we select it here copy it go to new one and paste it here so that female infographic is shown here right so i just want everything else to be black and the inner section to be just transparent. So I will simply go to paint bucket, select that layer, 
do the black color on the outside and then go to magic wand and select the gray color area here delete it and i don't want this background so i will delete that too as you can just drag it and go to the bin icon it will be deleted you do the same thing here and on the legs as well so you can see here everything else is deleted and only the outside is painted black so that's how you create and infographic images and once this is created let's go back to our tableau dashboard and here simply i will create a new worksheet and i am connected to sample superstore data set so i will simply create any segment i will bring any segment and try to create a bar chart for a percentage and in this case i am using profit ratio so i will simply find a profit ratio here and bring it or you can use any other percentage as well whichever you want so let me go and show you this one so i am using a segment here and showing the profit ratio here so we can do the same thing so i have just selected a corporate filter segment here and the percentage is created in the form of bar chart so what i will do i have created similar to these ones for home office consumer mail percentage so you can do the same thing here and I'd let me just check it here so it's showing all the hidden fields so here you can see all the hidden fields here and we have the profit ratio so let me show you how to create that profit ratio so I will bring the segment here and I will bring the profit ratio and I will change it to percentage by just going here click on percentage to two decimal places and I will create a bar chart and i want to bring the segment i only want to use one segment so i will let's say here use consumer click on that and press ok and you can see the percentage 11 percent right so i will simply swap the axis you can see 11.5 percent but here we want the percentage to be uh, from 100 percent bucket right so i will right click on the axis go to edit axis and i will do the fixed axis and the fixed end i will keep it as one and you will see here this is 11 percent and it goes till 100 percent and i don't want the header or any naming convention i don't want titles and this way i don't want this axis as well so i will unhide the show header by unchecking that and i will remove the segment header as well so you will simply see here 11.55 percentage and I will format it and I will make sure that all the row dividers and column dividers are not there and even the zero line and axis lines axis lines are not there and I will remove all of these ones and grid lines make sure they are not there as well so now it's nice and clean so that way you have created a bar and I will give it a name as a circle all right so now we create a new dashboard here and i will bring this circle as a floating worksheet i will hide the title as simple as that and now i will bring an image which we have created right so i will just drag the image from the objects and bring it here and i will choose that image the one which we have created so circle in this case I will bring the circle and click OK. So you will see here the circle is created. Now I will make sure that this worksheet, so let's let's drag it here, and this worksheet I will bring it on the top here. So I leave it sitting behind it and I want to make sure it's aligned properly in the 100% window. So you can just make sure it's coming like this and drag the top portion just at the brim of the circle so you can make sure once it's 100 percent it covers the entire circle so as you can see here it's 11.55 percent and this is the bucket you can do the same thing by creating multiple uh, multiple bar charts for multiple segments so i have created multiple bar segments here for home office and consumer so you can do the same thing i will bring another circle image here 
and I will put it just next to it and I will select another circle and once we do that I will just bring it a bit closer and now I will bring corporate in here and as we did it before we will do the same thing here hide the header we don't need the title we will hide the legend and I will move this in the background so it's a floating order I will send it to back and here you will select this sheet and make sure the bottom is at the starting point of the circle and the top bit is at the at the end point of the circle where the circle ends so you can see here so this is 31.3 percent 11.5 percent only two percent difference here so you can see there's a slight difference and let's say if you want to bring a uh, gender like male or female and want to show the percentage here so it's the same way we are same using the similar images select the image select the man image which we created uh, so this one is actually i've created it before so but it's the same logic so we'll use the man image and we are using the same percentage male percentage which is nothing but just another bar chart and i will hide the title and I will simply reduce the width and bring it here. And again, make sure the starting and the end point of the height is just from the starting and end point of that image. And we make it a little bit wider. So it's covering both the arms as well. And then we move it back, the floating order, send it to back and you can see it here it will fill up the image of the man once the percentage keeps on going up and if you want to make it more fancier you can update the dashboard and make the shading to black so it will look something like this and you can now add the image of female which we have created earlier so simply select that image and select ok so the image is here because we have the background black so it's looking like this but once we bring the percentage here it will be all good so just in a second you will see it coming together and I will remove the segment we don't need it and this one I will move it back the floating order send it to back and you will see it's coming together and the height I will adjust so that it's at the top of the image so here you go and also i have created an image of a thermometer so it will work the same way so just like you need to make sure you can create any infographic in either of these tools like figma and illustrator um, or any other tools and it will be quite easy to do that so this is that one for our thermometer so I will bring the therm thermometer infographic uh, bar chart in this case, and I will just move it behind it. And reduce the width, as I mentioned earlier. And here you go. By changing the floating order to send it to back. It's as simple as that. I hope you guys like this. In case of any questions, feel free to drop me a message on my email address on my website or just drop a comment below and i will get back to you as soon as possible all these images i will share it on my website if you want to download it i will put the link in the description as well thank you see you next time bye